Hello YouTube, Fuzzfinger here and welcome back to another Comrades video for Final Fantasy XV and in today's episode I'm going to be showing you how you can unlock a vendor that sells powerful equipment such as the Yoshimitsu, a very very nice katana that you can level up with a lot of good stats, you're going to want that one along with some other good items as well. So please stay tuned and if you enjoy watching don't forget to drop a like and be subscribed to the Fuzzfinger Gaming YouTube channel. Okay, getting started then, I'm just going to show you the map. Now, unfortunately, the map does tend to remove things once we've unlocked them, so it's hard for me to pinpoint exactly where you need to go to unlock to make this stuff available. But hopefully, I'm going to put you on the right lines here initially. First things first, you're going to want to unlock the Maldacio Hunter headquarters because that's where the vendor's going to appear. And I believe it's around here or around here. You get a refugee sign. It's not this one, but it's the one with Biggs and Wedge. And you need to go ahead and unlock those uh, with power. And also, as I say, the Maldacio Hunter headquarters. And once we've got all of that unlocked, we're going to be heading over there. You can do it at quite an early stage. So I did it by about level 10, I think, starting from here. So it doesn't take too long, uh, but we are going to need those. And let's move on. Next up then, you're going to want to actually travel across to the Maldacio Hunter's headquarters. And you can do that just by heading down to the vehicle, the van, at the end of the Stalem. And once you get here, once you first unlocked those refugees, you'll see Biggs and Wedge and this other dude standing here in the middle of the road. And we actually have an important decision to make here. We need to select one of these as the leader of the refugees for this particular area. And what we want to do is select this first person here, Devon. Okay, if we select Devon, then that's going to, as you can see, unlock the trading post. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to need that trading post because he's going to be the one that's then selling the weapons that we're going to want to purchase. But before we go over and visit him, there's something else I want to explain to you that's going to be helpful as well. Straight ahead from our current location, and you can see this on the map as well, there is an NPC that specialises in mining, and he's actually going to be able to help us with a mining minigame. And it costs 3,000 gil every time we want to play it. But what we can do here, and it's actually a very simple game to play, we have a pickaxe, and we have eight attempts to go around and mining the different rocks, collecting different materials as we go. Now, we can actually collect some very, very powerful stat-boosting items by this minigame. But, of course, we can also collect absolute junk. So, it is a bit of a gamble. But what we're actually after are a couple of very powerful items that are going to be used for trading in the uh, weapons that we want to get. You see, the weapons for that trader we've just unlocked are not available to purchase with Gil. We have to actually trade crafting materials in order to get them. And so the ones we're after are Platinum Ingot. These are the materials that we can get. Reaper Funny Bone. And both of those, I believe, come from the Metal Rocks. Although it's possible you can get them from any of the rocks here. Perhaps somebody, if you're in the know, could clarify that in the comments. Interestingly, it seems to be the case for me at least, that whatever you loot from a rock on a visit to this place, if you repeat that... Uh, rock and dig there again you'll get the same item by the way you don't always have to get items from here you can get gill or you can get power i don't know if you're about gill actually i think i'm wrong on that uh, but you can get power so platinum ingot you want one of those and a reaper funny bone it can take quite a few visits but it is worth it you can also purchase a power shield for those you'll want to find iron shavings and thick hide though they're not that uncommon to be honest with you so you might already have those with you uh, but those other two items are definitely ones that you would like to get so i'm just going to finish off this area here and on this attempt unfortunately i'm not very lucky in getting those particular items that we need but i can come back here at any point and just farm this place until i do anyway if we move across to the other side of the road here we can see the person we elected as leader is Hello, ready man. to trade what with us. With and we can go ahead and browse the wares. 
So the weapon that we're really interested in is the Yoshimitsu, a very powerful katana. And as you can see, you do need the platinum ingot and the reaper funny bone in order to purchase that. Uh, some of these weapons aren't brilliant because they don't level up. The Yoshimitsu does, so does the power shield. And as you can see, that starts off with some pretty nice stats as it is. So when we level that up, we'll be really boosting our avatar at that point. But you can also have a look at some of these other items as well. Maybe they'll be of interest to you. But I, as I say, I do reckon it's worth choosing this guy and doing that mini game for the Yoshimitsu alone. Very, very powerful. But that's it anyway, folks. That's what I wanted to show you. Hopefully this has been helpful to you. If it has, as I say, please don't forget to drop a like. And come back soon and we'll carry on with more comrades. There's a few more tips and whatnot that I want to share with you. So check out the future videos for those when they come as well. But thanks for stopping by today, guys. And I'll see you soon. Goodbye.